Hi, welcome to our series of short snippets on hematology for medical undergraduates. In this short video, you will learn about how erythropoietin levels are regulated in response to hypoxia and how hypoxia influences the transcription of hypoxia response proteins that includes erythropoietin via the hypoxia inducible factor complex. Erythropoietin is the principal hormone that regulates erythropoiesis, especially in its later stages. The hormone is synthesized mainly by the fibroblast-like renal erythropoietin-producing cells. These erythropoietin-producing cells are typically found in the renal cortex, at the junction between the cortex and medulla of the kidney, or at the outer medulla of the kidney. The renal erythropoietin producing cells are sensitive to oxygen fluctuations in the relatively hypoxic environment of the kidney. Hypoxia causes an increase in the number of erythropoietin producing cells and the induction of erythropoietin in an oxygen dependent manner. Erythropoietin transcription in the renal erythropoietin producing cells is regulated by the transcription factor hypoxia inducible factor alpha. Hypoxia inducible factor alpha, or HIF alpha for short, forms a subunit of the HIF complex and is the key transcriptional factor in cellular hypoxic response. It is a transcription factor that is ubiquitously produced, meaning that it is found in nearly all cells. HIF alpha en enables the transcriptional control of hypoxia response elements of HREs. The HREs, meanwhile, are sequences found in gene promoters that direct the transcription of genes involved in hypoxia response. The transcriptional control of HIF alpha occurs in complex with another subunit called HIF beta. HIF alpha is continuously synthesized and degraded in normoxic conditions. The control of HIF alpha accumulation through its degradation is mediated by another protein called prolyl hydroxylase domain proteins. Under normoxic conditions, when there is adequate oxygen in the environment, oxoglutarate is generated within the aerobic citric acid cycle. In the presence of oxoglutarate prolyl hydroxylase proteins, hydroxylate two specific proline residues in the oxygen dependent degradation domains of HIF alpha. Upon hydroxylation, one hyperlindau proteins can ubiquitinate HIF alpha that leads to its proteosomal degradation. However, in hypoxic conditions, Prolyl hydroxylation of HIF alpha is impaired. The constitutively produced HIF alpha therefore accumulates in the absence of ubiquitination and its proteosomal degradation. The accumulated HIF alpha translocates into the nucleus together with HIF beta, which is consistently present in the cells. The HIF alpha beta complex then binds to the hypoxia response elements present in the promoter region of a diverse group of genes that mediate hypoxia response. This includes the erythropoietin gene as well as genes such as the erythropoietin receptor, vascular endothelial growth factors, and mediators of iron metabolism and transport. The key learning points I hope that you can take away from this short video is that one, erythropoietin is essential for erythropoiesis. The second being erythropoiesis is synthesized by the oxygen sensing cells in the kidney and this occurs in response to oxygen shifts within its microenvironment. And thirdly, the important role of the hypoxia inducible factor that mediates the transcriptional regulation of erythropoietin and also other key proteins involved in erythropoiesis and iron metabolism.